Hey guys, what's up? This is Tiger 2744 here today to talk about the iPad 2 screen bleeding error five weeks later. And I've had this uh, about five weeks now. And basically right when I first got the iPad 2, one of the first videos I made was the issue on screen bleeding. And if you haven't seen that video already or you don't have a lot of information about the iPad 2 screen bleeding, I do recommend visiting in the description below. Go ahead and click on that link to my original video and you will be able to figure out all the details and everything that's caused by. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you guys screen bleeding is caused by the glue not drying and hardening properly on the back end of your screen. Uh, which is pretty much seen in all iOS devices, but it's not noticeable in the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and the original iPad. Basically, in the iPad 2, they've had the error on a select few iPad 2s, quote-unquote, from Apple. Uh, they said a select few. I really do think it's a select few, but it's definitely a lot of them out there. Uh, but in this case, like I said, if you know stuff about screen bleeding already you should be fine and I'm gonna go ahead and show you five weeks later with screen bleeding now I have noticed a growth in my screen bleeding issue I'm gonna go ahead and this is a plain old black image here and as you guys can see right off the end you still have all the round edges with lighting problems which is what screen bleeding basically is uh, like I said if you don't know a lot please be sure to go ahead and check out my original video in the description below uh, but yes lighting problems around the edges because the glue is not drying and hardening properly and basically a really good way of showing screen bleeding is to simply go like this and you can see all that lighting problem uh, you can see a lot of red a lot of pink orangish color uh, problems right here now screen bleeding isn't really noticeable at first so you're gonna have to possibly go ahead watch a YouTube video and around the edges they might have some black and if you are in dark room possibly um, basically with low light you'll be able to see the screen bleeding and it will get worse eventually now when I am in highlighting areas basically even outside I can see the screen bleeding if it's up against a black image which is pretty bad now the best thing you can do when you first go ahead and get the iPad 2, I recommend first things first, whether you get it from Walmart, Radio Shack, Best Buy, wherever you get it, I recommend immediately just saving that receipt. Right when you get it out of the box, uh, go ahead, shut off the light in your room, shut off the light wherever you are, uh, go to a black image from Google or wherever you want to get your black image from, look at it and see basically if there is any light lighting problems around the edges which is a result in screen bleeding. If so, uh, keep in mind Apple does tell you if you call them they're just going to tell you wait two days see if it goes away if not return it because if it doesn't go away a certain amount of time it's not going to go away and in, in fact once it's there it's pretty much not going to go away mine didn't actually even go away it actually just flat out got worse it's been it's about double worse as it is now uh... now like i said best thing you can do is save your receipt immediately when you see this error keep in mind it will not go away it'll get on your nerves eventually when you first look at it you're like oh well you know it's a little issue uh... but it will get on your nerves eventually which at first i was thinking little issue but now i'm thinking wow i'm definitely gonna return this get myself an iPad without screen bleeding. So the best thing you can do, save your receipt wherever you buy it. Keep in mind you have the uh, you have the ability to return the iPad 2 with Apple, but that's going to cost some to ship, or you can simply go to an Apple retail store and switch it in. That's your easiest thing to do if you don't have your receipt for the original place you bought it, if for say it was Walmart or whatever. Uh, so I want to go ahead and thank you guys all for watching the Sagittarius 2744. If you guys have any questions about the issue on screen bleeding in the comment section below, go ahead and ask those questions and I usually get back to your comments as soon as possible. Please be sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video if you found out anything new about screen bleeding or possibly if this helped you on the issue of screen bleeding. Please also be sure to go ahead and subscribe for more of the iPhone, iPhone Touch and iPad. You guys can also go ahead and check out the description below, follow my uh, live shows, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. This is Agatardi 2744.